At The Driver's Hub, we love our custom builds. You've seen us cover project cars and bikes on the daily, but today I'm here with a bike that claims to have that custom look straight from the factory. Yes, I'm here with the Java 42 Bobber, and this is the Black Mirror variant. I want to answer two questions. One, since it's so niche in its segment, what kind of buyer should actually consider this bike? And two, does it perform as good as it looks? Let's find out. Forever bike, forever value. This was Java's slogan back in the day when they were just brought into India. Java motorcycles were introduced in India in 1960 and they have a cult following to this present day. Production was carried out directly in India by Ideal Java India Limited based out of Mysore. In late 2016, Indian conglomerate Mahindra & Mahindra not only acquired the British motorcycle firm BSA, but also got hold of the license to produce and sell Java motorcycles in India. Things went cold again for two years before something unexpected happened. The revival of the forever bike, Java. Consider the Java 42 Bobber to be a bike for you and you only. This is not a bike for somebody who's searching for something practical or utilitarian. This is a bike for somebody who wants to feel special on the move, who wants to have an occasion of a ride. When practicality, well, that can take a backseat. Well, there isn't one. Powering the Bobber is a 334cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine that is good for 30.6 PS and 32.7 Newton meters of torque. The Bobber's engine is designed to have a pretty flexible low end so that it's easier to ponder around the city at lower RPMs. But when you stretch its legs, it's got a nice linear grunt all the way up to its top end that tapers off towards the end of the rev limiter, making it very easy to be at the meat of the torque just with a drop of a gear. Swing your leg over the saddle and the bobber sits you in a hybrid cruiser-like stance. Now my arms are far forward and wide in a commanding position, so is my torso with a little bit of lean forward so I get more leverage, but my legs are in a stretched out relaxed position. On the move, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but by no means is this unheard of. Even the Ducati Diavel and the Indian Scout sport similar ergonomics. So, special bikes, special ergos. How is it on the move? Only one way to find out. On the road, the Java 42 Pobber is a peppy block, no doubt. With lots of mid-range, it can cruise at highway speeds with relative ease. But since it's not designed to be sitting at the very top of the rev range, the 42 Bobber tends to vibrate at higher revs. The oversquare engine doesn't have that thump you'd expect from a cruiser. Instead, the block provides a linear experience that is paired with a feast to the senses, like the intake noise, the click of the gearbox, and the roar of the 334cc single. You'd expect the long wheelbase of 1485mm to make the 42 Bobber just a straight speed machine, but in the twisties, the bike is rather stable. It stays planted around a set of corners, but the stability is not the issue. The lack of cornering clearance due to the low ground clearance and the low slung exhaust pipes limits your fun on a mountain section. But all in all, the 42 Bobber has great dynamics and a taut chassis. The suspension is set on the slightly stiffer side though in order for the bobber to not bottom out so easily. According to the company, the suspension has been retuned to aid in the bike's handling and the swing arm has been stiffened up for better straight line stability. The result is a slightly stiff ride quality. The front forks are well damped, but the rear monoshock offers a slightly stiffer ride. Over smooth surfaces, it's not much of a bother, but the moment you hit a broken patch or the odd speed breaker, then you will feel the bumps translating up to your body. But before we head to the end of the video, 
Let's talk about my three personal highlights on the 42 Bubber. You get a USB port and a Type C port on your handlebar from factory as an optional extra. Instead of having the key right on the handlebar just like any new modern bike, you have it under the tank, which is super retro. Nice touch. With 17 inch alloys in the rear, 18 inch alloys in the front, and the low seat height of 750 mm, it gives you the feel that you're riding an American chopper. The Java 42 Bobber looks like it has been CNC machined from a single block of metal and it would look at home in a museum or even as a piece of art in your own living room. It is very pretty and pair that with all of the sensations that you would get while riding this bike, the 42 Bobber definitely screams occasion. You definitely have to ride it to believe it. So don't look any further, go to your nearest Java YSD showroom and see what the 42 Bobber feels like. You have to ride it to believe it. Do let us know your thoughts on the 42 Bobber and is there any single prettier bike in the segment of the 300 cc's? Do let us know down below and see you guys in the next one. Bye.